Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to All Things Wood. This is Steven. Today we are going to turn a small cherry bowl. So if you'd like to see how I did it, just stick around. Thanks. Hey YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be turning a little small cherry bowl today. This is just a piece of eight quarter dimensional stock, so it's nice and dry. Still be able to do the full turning today. Um, I'm going to mount it on my wormwood screw in the middle of the uh, four jaw chuck. So um, we'll go from there. So now we got it basically rounded out, and I've cut a little recess in the bottom for my uh, chuck to go into and hold it. And then I cut a little dovetail on the inside for those dovetail jaws to uh, grasp the bowl. So I'm just going to do a little sanding on the bottom, and then we'll flip it around and we'll hollow it out and finish it up. So if it looks like you missed anything, I had a little bit of a technical difficulty when I was going to get the wormwood screw out. It got stuck, so I had to slowly turn it out so I could pull it out. It happens sometimes, I don't know if it's the wood's super dry and I got it on there too tight, but I couldn't unscrew it, so I had to slowly turn it out very cautiously. Alright, so now we're going to use this drill to finish going in as deep as we're going to take the bowl so we know how deep to go when we're turning the inside so we don't turn into the um, internal tenon. Got it all sanded, sanded to 320, and then I wet it down and then lightly sanded it again so if there's any raised grain later. Because I don't use a permanent finish, I use a blend of uh, beeswax that I actually, I, I make myself the beeswax and the mineral oil. Um, I buy beeswax from a local bee farm and filter it and then make my own finish. So, and this is a uh, thinned out um, mixture that I use for my first coat so it seeps into the pores a little better and then two coats after that I use a thicker version but uh you know it's board butter bowl butter whatever you want to call it um but so I'm just going to put a coat of that on there let it sit for an hour and then we'll buff it off and then tomorrow I'll do the next coat so the good thing about this finish is it's really forgiving unlike a uh, finish that actually creates a film, a hard film. Uh, some people don't like this kind of finish because it does require maintenance. Uh, I like it because for one, it's natural, so there's no heavy metals in it or uh, anything like that. It's completely safe. The mineral oil is food grade, laxative grade, if you want to call it that. Um, so I'll do the main part on here. I can't get the very bottom because of this chuck, so... Um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. 
I'll put this and I'll leave it on here so I can buff this first coat out while it's spinning a little bit. Uh, and then I'll do the bottom. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Thanks for uh, watching.